All right, we going? Yep. Hi, we're live on Facebook, Periscope, and YouTube. Yes. And you guys are? Bruce, Chanute, Kansas. Chanute, Kansas, yes. of all places. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit about the band. Members, instruments you guys play, all that stuff. Um, my name's Christian. I almost said my name is Zach. My <laughs> name's Christian, and I play guitar and do uh, quite a bit of vocals. I'm Lennon, and I play drums and do back vocals. Uh, I'm Zach, and I play bass. That's and awesome. <laughs> yeah, now, uh, how would you guys describe your your sound? Uh, late '90s emo slash post hardcore yeah. pop punk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, what what groups could could you guys be compared to? Um, we've gotten. Jawbreaker several times. Um, have you guys? Most recently, I think I got the Get Up Kids. Yeah. Um, just a bunch of emo bands like that. I haven't really. I don't know. We got compared to like the Break Up ones. Yeah, I think probably the most widely known quote unquote bands we could compare to are Brand New and uh, Taking Back Sunday. So. That's cool. Yeah. Those yeah. Are, Two of, two of our favorite bands. So now, uh, do you guys have any musical influences? Anybody that might have influenced you guys to, to play the way that you do? Uh, Travis Barker is like my idol. That's why I play drums from Blink. That dude, that's probably a lot of the reason why I do what I do. And I kind of base a lot of my stuff on his kind of playing style, but I try to make it my own and stuff like that. That's cool. But he's like my main influence. Uh, probably Chris Aiken. Uh, I actually play one of his signature basses. Uh, that's one of my main basses. But uh, just grew up listening to Strung Out. That's cool. Just those kind of bands. Yeah. Is there a story behind your name at all? Um, yes, actually, there's a Fugazi song, uh, and there's a lyric uh, in Rend It that I just like the way it was worded, and it was a bruised color shade of blue. So we just took the name Bruise from that line and ran with it. We're really huge for Gossip fans. So. Now, uh, how long have you guys been playing as a group? Um, my brother and I have been in and out of bands together for the last seven years, but we just started Bruise officially in February. So, that's cool. not very long, just a few months. So, uh, how did you guys learn music? Did you, did you, are you self taught? Did you. Uh, Learn it in school. How, how the hell did you well, get I, get get to the point that you yeah. are now? I'm like, it's awful. Anytime I get with other musicians, because I learn all by ear. I never know technically like what I'm actually doing. I can just go to a guitar and go, okay, this is what I want to do. This is how this sounds, and run with it. But I don't know. I don't. I don't know Zach's story. Lennon's is cool. Yeah. He used to play pots and pans. Yeah, I just kind of did that. Played on boxes, pots, and pans, and I guess got a sense of rhythm from that. And I've done like intro beginner lessons, but it's all just been me kind of sitting down with headphones and just playing and trying to pick up as much as I can from other people's music. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, what drives you guys to keep doing all this? Um, for me personally, I remember the first time that a song like meant something to me. I was seven years old. Um, Blink song of all bands, uh, but I don't know. I just remembered feeling like that, and I wanted to be able to replicate that feeling for other people. I think um, wanted other people to know that they're not alone in some of the stuff that they go through. So, so what was the first song that you guys ever wrote as a group? Oh, first song. The first song that we wrote for, like, as in me and Lennon, was a song called. I think we just call it Waiting. That was the first Bruce song, and I think the first one that we all kind of wrote together was our intro song to our set. Yeah. Um, we, just get in, get in, get in. we are outside. Yeah, go. <laughs> we just we just refer to it as intro right now. Yeah. So intro would be the first one that all three of us had a hand in. I think. That's cool. Yeah. So, uh, what was the last album that you guys bought? Last record. Well, I'll let Lennon answer. Yeah, uh, yeah, I did uh, Holy Ghost from uh, Modern Baseball. It was the last one that I picked up. That's cool. Yeah. What's the last record? It's probably the same. Jeez, <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the last record I actually purchased was... I want to say a curse.
cursive record. I'm like, I hate myself because I'm really struck on, stuck on streaming right now, but I'm like really broke too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, the last record I bought, I think, was a cursive record at uh, Love Garden in uh, Lawrence, Kansas. That's yeah. cool. So what, what is your favorite local venue, and what makes this a place to be? Uh, actually, there's a basement here in Hutchinson. It's my favorite place to play. Uh, <laughs> seriously, it's like the greatest time. It's called Vault 517. Uh, Bryce and Hemp Hill's place. Or uh, Connor Eves has a basement that we play here. Too. Connor Eves, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so what is the most interesting gig you guys have ever played? Well, we were like an hour and a half late to our last one last week. So <laughs> yeah. That made for an interesting vibe, but I don't know. What's the. I don't know if we've had anything like too out of the I ordinary. I think uh, the last weird ish. It wasn't weird because we play there all the time. Another basement. We're infamous for basement shows. <laughs> uh, we played at a basement that had just recently obtained an old church's chicken sign, and we played oh, in yeah. front of a church's chicken sign. That so was tough. That was pretty. That was sick. <laughs> the church's chicken sign. Yes. <laughs> that is awesome. That was cool. Okay, so what? What's your next uh, series of gigs that people can find um, you guys at? Actually, we're leaving for tour July seventh. We're starting off in Lawrence, Kansas, headed out to the West Coast, and then headed back this direction. So that's cool. We'll be. It'll be from the seventh to the twenty third. We'll be on the road. How do we find you guys online? Websites, uh, all this stuff, social media. Everything is Bruise MMXVI, which is the Roman numeral for twenty sixteen. So yeah. uh, Twitter, Bruise MMXVI. Instagram, same thing. Facebook is Bruise MMXVI. So awesome. I like that you're using Roman numerals. Yes. I used to use Roman numerals in school, and they always told me, "What the hell is that?" <laughs> so. Love Roman. And I'm sure you guys pre do you guys write in cursive too? I do not. Yeah, Roman yeah, numerals and tonic. Tonic. <laughs> We were taught Dang. cursive. They just told us to forget it once we get a certain age. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Yeah, in middle school, they were like, yeah, forget everything you knew about cursive. Just write in print. And I was like, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate yeah, thank it. Thank you very thank you much. So much. Dun, dun, dun. And then our photographer.